discuss my design of a uh, colony breeding uh, colony my colony cage the size of it <coughs> is uh, 3 meter by 1.5 by 0.60 centimeter so I want to discuss the my cage second thing the cost of material and the accessories uh, how much will it cost to build that one the third topic in this blog I will discuss is the advantages and disadvantages of uh, colony colony breeding versus the uh, pairing pairing cage type of breeding so I hope you enjoy my discussion for today and uh, enjoy enjoy So, hello guys, once again, good evening. I want to show you my uh, my cage, my cage for colony breeding. This is for Agapornis, Agapornis cage breeding uh, because my nest box is for Agapornis. I want to show you my design and uh, costing, including the advantages and disadvantages of the colony the, the colony cage versus the pairing cages so this is our cage this is my cage design this is a simple box only surrounded by uh, mesh but I'm using here is not a mesh is uh, the same material uh, of the pairing cages so the dimension for this one is uh, 3 meter wide by 1.5 height and 60.60 centimeter. <clears throat> one of the advantages of this uh, colony breeding, it's, it's very pleasant to see because the, the birds are, they have a very wide area to fly and you can see the the under wings when they fly so the poop tray here i put the poop tray i use the 1 mm stick poop tray with a uh, what's this metal sheet if you have if you have uh, availability in your area of the aluminum sheet it's much it's much better to use because uh, it wouldn't rust. So I will forward the tray. So this is what it looked like. It will look like. As you can see. I have three three down openings one two three I make this design I, I put three doors so you can feed three areas differently at, uh, at the same time because if you if you put only one feeder or two feeder the tendency the birds will accumulate and they fight each other So I will uh, try to open this one.
open this at 45 degrees we'll try to open the doors So this <clears throat> by the way uh, if uh, if the supplier of making the cages is available the pairing cages is available in your area you can contract him to make this one at least this one is uh, 0.75 in distance because if you are using screen if you are using one fourth i screen the tendency of the screen is there's too many what's this uh eyesore in your eyes uh, causing by the screen unlike this one it's all uh, vertical uh, only only three is horizontal that's why it's very pleasant to watch your birds flying and to enjoy them also see i opened the doors and also, I have one door at the top. One opening at the top. The purpose of this one, I forgot to put hinges. The purpose of this one, I will uh, hide this. So, the purpose of this one is you can reach the middle cages, the three middle cages you can reach. And, I forgot to include this one. Wait, 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 wait. okay why my sketch up is very slow that will be my next topic <laughs> coffee my friend i'm drinking gawa this much you know what is gawa gawa is a uh, arabic tea arabic coffee arabica So, here we go again. We come back to our main topic, the colony breeding. So, so we can reach this one for easy cleaning. Of course, the dimension of my nest box is 25 by 25. It will fit here. So, you can reach this tree. By the way, the this colony is designed for nine uh, nest boxes but you can double this the quantity of nest box you can add in the lower part if your bird is already many and requires uh, another sets of nest box this side also i put here uh, open 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 nope I put here opening so we can reach this three addition, uh, this three nest box on the left side. Why am I? Let's try to open, 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 open. Uh, 60. I will try open at 60 degrees. So this, as you can see, at the side uh, opening is a uh, quite uh, larger than the center opening. Also, don't forget, guys, to put padlocks here. Huh? Put padlocks and uh, keep the keys always with you. Because maybe you have children in your house and it, it will play in your this side and try to open your cages then your birds will say goodbye. Goodbye, puppy. I will open this at 60 degrees. Eshad. Muskila gatir.
Ta-da! Now open at 60 degrees. So this will be what it look like when the door is open and the poop tray is re uh, pulled and the side openings to get open. Now I will remove this uh, center mesh so you can see the positioning of the this is 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter. I put 3 25 centimeter by 25 centimeter nest box. As you can see, as you can observe, the opening the opening of my my opening hole is protected by aluminum. Because I I said in my previous vlogs Birds will will bite this uh, wooden part, the edges of your of your nest box. So the result will be you replace uh, oftenly your nest box. I remove this one. I will remove this one so you can see my nest box. So here, my nest box design. The opening of my nest box design is on top not a drawer type I will open this point 20 see so I open the box point 20 so it's just a commonest box and you put the wood sheep uh, wooden sheaves there So this, okay, if you want, uh, as, as I've said, if you want, you can double this nest box. Uh, by the way guys, you can also make this nest box smaller because this, this nest box is 25 centimeter. You can make it also around 20, 20 by 20 centimeter, depending on what you like. But the but the result if the nest box you make your nest box design smaller, if some birds will uh, lay eggs there and the eggs will hatch and the chick will grow, every day that the chick will grow, they occupy space until such time that they will fight for the space. The tendency if you uh, if you put smaller nest box. The chicks will fight each other because of the space and injured chick and and eventually maybe worst case scenario your chick will die. So better use a 25 by 25 centimeter because it will increase the survival rate of your chicks. So I will return all my hidden parts I have feeders here you can buy the feeders like this you can buy in the in the what's this uh, pet shops or bird suppliers use your feathers like this because if you put uh, the seeds on open open feeder the tendency they will not eat it all they mess it around so remember guys the feeds of your birds is more expensive than your rice I think the because the feeds is composed of many grains for example the sunflower Last time I checked, the sunflower is at 60 per kilo. I don't know right now if how, how, mu how much is the kilo of the sunflower seeds. Plus the bird seeds, plus the mixture of canary seeds, and all of that thing. So, better not to waste. I also advise, if you, if you already have many birds, I also advise you to invest in a seed blower. Because it can it can minimize your waste of your feeds. 
I will next vlog uh, my design for a seed blower. Maybe next of this one. So, this cage is only requires only space of 3 meter. By the way, guys, as you can observe, I did not fully extend my cage down. The height of this the this height is around 80 80 centimeter because the birds will the birds of course the birds will always fly and afraid of down because of the uh, down area because of the predator so don't let them eat at the very lowest point because cats and other predators they may, they cannot kill them because they are inside the uh, the cage but maybe it can cause them heart attack <laughs> Okay, so I hope you like my drawing. I'm getting better at this. <laughs> where is my... Oh, where is my door? So I will... Oh, there you are. So there it is, my three by one point, uh, three meter by one point five meter by sixty centimeter uh, colony cage. I hope you like my design and give you a little bit of idea. Now I will proceed of the costing of this one. Where is the cost? Costing, uh, costing and material. Oops, 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 oops. So, cost of materials. Now, my fellow hobbyists, my fellow project people, this is the cost of materials and the accessories of my uh, colony cage. At least you can, it can give you idea, it can give you margins. This is not the exact price of, of now, as of now because last time I checked this price, is, uh, this is a pre-quarantine price. So I use the one mm by one mm rectangular bar as I've shown you here in the uh, in the picture. The required length, the total length of that uh, design of mine is eighty three. The available length is six. Uh, at three hundred peso, you can change this one. Uh, you can change this one. Depending on the price of your area. Uh, the total of that one, the metal only, the rectangular metal is 4,200. And uh, wire mesh number 16 at I-14, 6 meter, total of 6 meter is around 2,700. 2,700 plus uh, red oxide primer paint. Why, 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 why? Uh, red, oxide prim red oxide primer paint. That is most likely uh, 200 pesos. The only the small one. Plastic tie lock. At least 150 or maybe one 200 per pack. The one pack is enough. This tie and the another tie, uh, tie wires. The tie wires metal number 16. Tie wire. At least this is tie wire number 16. As uh, again, plain sheets, plain sheet for the poop tray. One roll is enough to accommodate all those uh, poop tray. Or if you have uh, extra money, you can use the aluminum sheets. Of course, aluminum sheets is better than uh, metal sheets because aluminum sheets will not rust, and it's cleaner to to look. It's pleasant to our eye. 
Next, the hinges. Uh, 12 hinges, uh, approximately, maybe 240 total. And then the handles. This handle is uh, only very cheap. Uh, uh, most likely, it's 15 peso each. And of course, the padlocks. Don't forget the padlocks. Uh, you have six doors, six openings, uh, six padlocks. I just put here at 50 pesos. I'm not sure if this is 50 pesos. And the nest box. The nest box in my drawing is my customized nest box. This is the nest box that is commonly available in the pet shops. The African nest box, the price of this one is 100 peso. Uh, approximately 100 or 120 peso. I just put here 100 peso each. And total of that of those is uh, 900. So feeders, the feeders, you can buy these feeders at 130. You buy three piece, pieces and you have a 390. And the waterers, your ceramic waterers. Your ceramic water is my friend, uh, my hobby friends, uh, no need to have rails. You may purchase three, three pieces of stained, uh, this one, the ceramic one, with no rails. And you can also purchase three pieces without rails. The with rails is for drinking and the without rails is for uh, taking a bath. Because our birds always take a bath, the Agapornis, especially the Agapornis, and especially on summer season. So this is the cost of materials of our, of our cage. So the total of that one is approximately 10,065 peso. The rate of this is in peso. So... This, this uh, guy, I did not include the labor cost. I did not include the labor cost and the... Wait. And the rock. This one. The rock. I did not include this one. Because this one I use here in my drawing. I use angle bars and square bars. Maybe uh, if you are in tight budget... You can use also <coughs> excuse. You can use also the the wood or maybe purlins or maybe uh rebars. But once again, if you have extra money, use aluminum, aluminum uh, square bars. Guys, I use maybe you are wondering why I use here uh, wooden sticks. I use here wooden sticks because I like I like the match of the color of the woods, the grain of the woods pairing with the metal and the stainless and the ceramics for additional variation of my materials in my cage. Because if you are a hobbyist, sometimes uh, you like watching your birds. Sometimes we have hobbyists also that uh, would like to watch their birds and the setup of their nest. Depending on your what you like. Because we have a saying in the Philippines and it goes like this. To kung saan ka masaya to suportante ka <laughs> meaning uh, wherever whenever you're happy we always support you so this is the total uh, our cost of materials of the colony versus the cost of materials of the how much is the cost of materials maybe 20 20,000 like that the cost of materials of our pairing pairing cages it's a little bit cheaper is in the colony breeding cage compared to our compared to our what's this pairing cages the next the next uh, what is the continuation of this blog i will also 
discuss the disadvantages and the advantages of the of the uh, what's this the cages uh okay i this is enough for the costing i will proceed to the pro and cons of uh, this said project shukran uh, ha! so now guys this is the our advantages Advantages, reasons, disadvantages, result. Uh, maybe I can call this hierarchy. Hierarchy means hazard identification, risk, and control <laughs> of colony breeding for Nagapurnis. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm, uh, I'm a, saf a safety officer for a quite long time. That's why I'm used to this kind of terminologies. Uh, I will remove this one. <laughs> Okay, so there are, as for me, there are six advantages of the colony cage versus the nine disadvantages of the colony cage. Maybe, maybe you have also, you can, uh, maybe you can add on this one. You can uh, help our fellow breeders to compare, we share our ideas. So here it goes. One, the advantages of colony breeding is one is easy to maintain. Why easy to maintain? Because it only one, it is only a one cage, one big cage. So only you feed only once, you watered only once. Uh, in in my case, there are three doors. Uh, you feed three times, you water three times, you clean three times, you remove the poop tray three times. So only times three compared to you have uh, 20 or 15 doors so you clean 15 sets 15 doors you clean it also in 15 times second thing it is very pleasant to watch it is very beautiful to watch why because due to the the, the cage is large the cage is uh, wide there's a lots of movements and the movements produces lots of colors especially the under wings of your birds because the under wings of your birds is not the same color as the back wings of your birds so that is my reason i don't know for your reason this is based on my reason only so the third the third is advantages is the bird can freely choose their partners so they have freedom if your bird want to engage to what's this uh, uh, same sex relationship it's up to them as long as they are happy <laughs> okay uh, next is birds are getting stronger compared to those birds in pairing cage because the reason for this one is the flight area is larger and longer they can exercise better compared to the pairing cages they can fly uh what's this uh more 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 area compared to our pairing cage which is the dimension the standard dimension is 17 by 17 by 30 inches only so they cannot fly properly there the, they only glide or hop or uh what's this by the way guys in additional additional info mostly of the parrot species is not hopping not hopping birds they walk and the number five it consumes less of your time Yes, because as, as I've said, it's only a one big cage. But for me, for my, <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me po, inom sa akong tubig. But in my case, cleaning, caring, uh, doing things like that in my cages, uh, I'm happy in doing that. It makes me calm. That this is my my anti-stress. 
This is my area, the my area of Zen. This is my peace area in my house, my birds. And so cleaning, cleaning and caring for them is not a big issue for me. So I like doing those things. And the other the lastly the price is uh, cheaper maybe cheap or uh, cheaper maybe six or seven thousand like that less compared to my 15 kg setup for pairing uh, cages it's much cheaper now we go to the disadvantages of the colony breeding so here at number three of our advantages Birds can choose their partners. Also, it comes for the disadvantages. You cannot produce, if you are a breeder. Wait, wait, wait. So, if you are a breeder, you cannot produce an specific mutation. Because they are the ones choosing their partners, not you. For example, uh, basic and lemon's term. You get yellow one and you get a green one, you pair them. They produce this color. Uh, that is the uh, selection type of breeding. The owner will select which color he paired and produce this color. At li unlikely, when you put your birds in the colony type, the birds will choose its partner. You cannot choose so. If green wants to pair with green, if olive wants to pair with olive, so you cannot do something. You cannot tell your birds, oh, stop, I do not like your partnership. You cannot do that. <laughs> ah, oh, so you cannot produce a specific mutation. The result, if you are a seller, if you are a breeder, if you cannot produce a specific uh, mutation, the prices of your birds will go down. If you are if, if you are a seller, of course. But for those only hobbyists who don't care if my bird will go down the price and will go up the price as long as I'm a happy, then go with the flow, my mate. So second thing in disadvantages of this uh, colony. Competition of space of this is a nest box. Uh, competition of space and the nest box. These disadvantages will result the raiding of nest box resulting to injury or death of the chicks or even the parents. Because especially guys, especially the hens, the hens, especially the hens of the eyelings, the hens is very aggressive during if they are uh, uh, they are on the laying stage of eggs. <coughs> Uh, the third one is the chick prematurely going out from the nest due to disturbances of other pairs, due to the attack of our other pairs, due to the raiding of our other pairs. If they will not go die, if they will not get injured, the tendency that chick will go out in the nest prematurely. Now, what will be the effect of that? Our in our colony colony cage the installation the positioning of the nest box is higher compared to the compared to our pairing cages of course if you if you are a chick like this and <coughs> and you will fall at that height i'm sure that you will get injured or maybe death this if and only if that chick will survive so you will isolate them, you will put them in the your makeshift isolation area. The question, who will feed them? The parents cannot feed them anymore. So you will uh, the best solution for that one is you will hand feed them. You will hand feed them uh, depending on their age to every two hours interval of every two hours or interval every three hours <coughs> now if you have work so 
You let them die in hunger. See, this is one uh, big adva uh, disadvantage of the colony breeding. Uh, okay, I will discuss this later. Next, the fourth reason you cannot monitor the progress of the offspring due to the location of the nest box is not very accessible compared to the pairing cages nest box. Meaning, you cannot check it daily. You cannot check it <coughs> if there's a... Uh, because the eggs, the eggs will not hatch simultaneously because they are not laid simultaneously also. This first egg will be the, the first egg will be the first one to hatch. The second egg will be the second one to hatch. So the tendency, <coughs> the chick, the egg that uh, hatch first, the chick is much bigger compared to the, the, the youngest chick. So the parents feed the chick that is have the chance, have the high chance of survival than the smallest one. So some techniques there. If the chick is already big enough that you can hand feed it easily, you get those big chicks and you isolate them and you hand feed them. The smaller chick will remain at the cage and let the mother take the parents take care of them. So, so this, you cannot monitor the progress of the offspring due to the location of the nest box not accessible. So, the result, the mortality rate of your aviary reduces. Number five of the disadvantages. The possibility in the breeding due to the difficulty, uh, the possibility of inbreeding. So, if you have uh, 30 birds there, 40 pairs there, they will breed. Now, the sister will the sister will be to the brother the brother will be to the uncle like that the possibility of inbreeding <coughs> there's a high possibility of inbreeding due to the difficulty of monitoring the lineage of your bird so the result of this one abnormality of offspring the beak is deformed the the build of your of your bird is getting smaller the the toes are uh, not splitting uh, some abnorm abnormalities will exist like that uh, next thing is some adult attack the young one especially in feeding time if you feed the birds will accumulate in the in the what's this your feeding trays the tendency the adults especially the adult females the hens will attack the young offspring so so for me my suggestion in this <coughs> you will catch the birds the young birds and you will separate them when they reach a certain age that they are strong enough to fly and they are strong enough to defend themselves you will take them back and join the colony. Oh, attack the young one. So the result of that one will be injury or death. Number seven, possibility of abandoning the chicks due to colony cage have lots of, due to the colony cage is have lots of activities and socializing. <coughs> uh, meaning, the, your, the, the hen, the hen will abandon the nest because in the colony cage, there's lots of activities, there's lots of birds in the activities. Unlike in the pairing, in the pairing cage, there's just breeding, eating, breeding. Uh, what's this? Uh, what do you call the loom loom in English? Uh, going back to the nest box and going out in the nest box. That is only the activity in the breeding cage and the pairing cage compared in the colony cage so once again if there's a chick there in your nest box once again the result will be you will hand feed the chick number eight this difficulty in cleaning and disinfecting the nest boxes as i said it depends to you but for me the frequency of i am cleaning the nest box 
is most likely each each after the chick will fly you remove the nest box because the nest box will be filled with poops and that poops will at attract insects and attracts uh, parasites remove that one clean that one disinfect that one and then you put another another sets of uh, wood shavings so uh, to, to start fresh number eight difficulty in cleaning and disinfecting the result of this one if the, your nest box will be uh, infected with uh, parasites accumulation and transmission of disease <coughs> exist lastly the birds is difficult to catch because your area is very large so the tendency, another thing of technique, because if you go here, all the birds will go on the other side. If you go on the right side, all the birds will go to the left side. So better to ask your wife. If you have wives, ask your girlfriend if you have girlfriend. But if you don't have girlfriend, maybe you have boyfriend. Then ask your boyfriend to help you. Once again. <laughs> so uh you get your uh what's this bird net and both sides but that then but that method you will stress out your birds guys remember your birds is at least this big at least most likely at least 10 centimeter in height the heart of that bird is very very small you will stress out that small heart you <coughs> your bird will get a heart attack Now, difficulty to catch. So, we use the water spray method. So, we spray the birds until all of its body will get wet and he cannot fly. The feathers will get wet and the feathers will get heavy. He cannot fly anymore. He only climb the mesh. So, you can, you can catch him. But, be careful in doing that. Make sure that if you spray your birds, spray only in the wing, in the back part. Do not spray in the face. Because the tendency, the water will go inside the ears, will go inside in the nose, and your birds will get fever. And will get fever, will die. <coughs> so here are the my, my reasons and my advantages and disadvantages in colony breeding versus the uh, pairing pairing cage method so once again guys this is the what i call this one hazard identification recent control <laughs> so uh, if you have some ideas if you have some observation at least maybe i can ask you to share it with me so we can add it on on our list so we can share it also to our uh bird brain friends <laughs> uh, our feathered uh what's this our fellow hobbyist we can share the the information especially for those young ones especially for those uh aspiring to to breed birds like us so thank you i hope you got uh, bits of information once again regarding this topic shukran guys hello uh, i hope you you acquired bits of uh, ideas regarding our topic for today uh, I would like to inform you that I am not a master of the universe in this kind of in this uh, in in birding because uh, in birding in bird uh, bird breeding the not my my knowledge is based on my experience only of this kind of activities so if you have additional <coughs> Additional information, additional knowledge. Maybe we, we can uh, collate that one 
And we can use that one for our next generation of breeders and aspirers. They can use our data for their future projects. Uh, I remember the saying of uh, Bao Chi Tung, you cannot fill the cup that already full. Fold or filled? Anyway, it goes like that. So, I hope you like our topic for today and I hope you support my channel, of course. Uh, I would like to shout out also to my club! Woo! This is my mountaineering club, the IMS. Read, read, read. Composed of old friends. Uh, anyway, Thank you very much and wish you to see each other once again in my next vlog. Shukran.